family, welcome back to another video with Credit Healing LLC where we answer all of your questions and concerns and comments. Now today the subject matter that we'll be discussing is the Federal Trade Commission and does it actually affect your disputes? And that's actually a good question that was asked to me by one of our Credit Healing customers and I want to be able to answer this for you all so you all can know exactly what you can, need, and even want to do regarding disputing your derogatory items. Now, the short answer to that question is no, it does not affect your uh, disputes nor the credit bureaus and this is why. Because the three credit bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, as well as also LexisNexis and others, that does not affect uh, your, your disputes because they're not owned by the federal government. These are owned by private entities um, that are funded through private entities. Uh, so therefore, you don't have that to worry about. Um, so you don't have to worry about not being able to get the right to items removed whatsoever by disputing with the credit bureaus continue to dispute. We have seen and we have been getting the right to items removed for our uh, clients and customers, so you can do the same. Now, in regards to the Federal Trade Commission, if you try to go through them, then you're not gonna be able to get anything done. And this is why, because the Federal Trade Commission or the FTC is actually owned by the federal government. And since they're owned by the federal government, then you're not gonna be able to do anything right now if you try to contact them. If you go to the website, the website's gonna say, we're closed, we're not in service, we can't do anything right now. However, you can still, say for instance, if you have credit card stolen or something like that, identity theft, you can still get those items rectified by first freezing your account, and I made a video on how to freeze your account, so you can go to that video and watch it, and then freeze your account, and then you will contact your bank. So if you had a credit card stolen or anything like that, you will contact your bank and tell them what has occurred, and they will help you throughout the process you won't be able to fully get everything rectified in regards to uh, getting your complete identity theft uh, situation uh, you know, put in the right perspective. However, what you can do is that we'll wait to the government is you know, finished with the whole shenanigans that's going on right now, and then we'll continue with that process. They're, they're gonna be bombarded with a lot of information. I guarantee you, mark my word, can, the Federal Trade Commission, they're gonna be bombarded with a lot of information uh, once once they start back in service and then I, I believe that most likely they're going to just start just just you know helping people out for the simple fact that they're going to be they're not going to be able to uh, uh, withstand and, and, and be able to obtain all the information at once by these hundreds of thousands of people and then still be able to uh, stay in business so they're going to just be helping people out so I believe that this is going to be good for us being that the Federal Trade Commission is not going to be able to, uh, with all the workers that they have, help everybody who needs help. So yes, you can still dispute your derogatory items via the credit bureaus and you won't have anything to worry about. Continue to dispute, continue to fight, and you will be able to succeed. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at credithealing at gmail.com or you can go to www.credithealing.org to get started. Peace.